right. Quarrels? Big pudding? Hello. What what is all missions? For people who um, just watched uh, Semek uh, actually racing, what is, are you guys going to do? Uh, so in this game, uh, Mario Kart DS, there are 63, well, 63 missions. Uh, basically, uh, so you have like races, you have balloon battle, you have shine runners, but there's a secret mode only exclusive to Mario Kart DS where you do special challenges on each track, like collect item boxes, drive through gates, do random stuff, meet conditions. And uh, we're going to try to complete them all as fast as possible. Exactly. Hi, right. I am Schwarls. I'll be and running I, this game as well. And uh, I am Big Puddings. I'm wearing my DS shirt. And I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. And Look. I am Nico. I'm on the couch. I don't play this game regularly, but I, I should be fine. And I just want to let you know that there's a prediction going on on the chat right now asking who is going to win. Oh, no. I and have to... Big Pudding is way ahead. Oh. I, I may have rigged the Discord before this <laughs> run started. <laughs> That's fine. 4% to 96. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> if Big Pudding doesn't win and you lose all your points, you need to donate, okay? Yeah, apparently, apparently if I don't get World Record, I'm getting banned. I don't know what's going to happen here, but uh, I, I don't think I will beat World Record, unfortunately. But <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to let you guys count us down. And uh, you can start whenever you're ready. I am ready. All right, so let's do it. So three, two, one, go. Go. So the biggest trick that we need to explain, like right off the bat, is the exit early glitch. And this is basically at the end of every mission, you can pause and quit out of the mission. And it completes the mission in the fade out without having to watch the little animation play where you um, get like a star ranking. And like this saves like three minutes over the course of the run. So it's a pretty big skip. Um, it was known about, but it was used first by um, Dutch runner Bitter, who is just a legend. Um, in our yeah, community. also the first place on the leaderboard. <laughs> yes, he's the only person with sub 40. <laughs> also by far about like two minutes, I believe. Yeah. He, he's he's so much better than us. <laughs> and I have the second place and putting as the third place on the leaderboard. Yes. Of all mission. So we're, we're, we're pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, so mission mode basically is just doing some challenges every time, so could be going backward, passing through gates, getting some coins, and uh, beating some players, and boss fights also. Also pretty cool. A lot of the boss are taken directly from uh, Mario 64, so it's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, you see least. a lot of cool faces return. Yep. Also, I'm gonna know something about the all missions. They're gonna, uh, for the first world, they're running uh, the missions in a counterclockwise run, as because on the mission screen, you don't see the bottom screen, but if you're not familiar with the mission mode, the missions, there is mission one through eight on the bottom screen, and they're all in a, in a square shape, and in the middle, there's a boss. You need to complete each the each eight missions to, to unlock the boss, and basically, they're gonna, for the first world, they're running it counterclockwise. So because they want to clear 1-4, the mission 1-4 um, as soon as possible because yeah, of the artist. The, the fish are annoying. Yeah. The so fish when, are we were, when we were doing uh, runs where you reset, which this is no reset, so we can't reset. Um, <laughs> but uh, when we're doing no, no reset runs, we want to be able to complete that mission the fastest we possibly can. Um, so if we don't get it, we reset and just restart. Um, so getting that mission done right out of the way is always best for us. Yeah. So that's why they're doing it cut the clock eyes for World One, but for the all the other worlds, they're really gonna run it cut uh, clockwise. Clockwise. Thanks, Charles. Yeah. No problem. My English being bad. Same as mine. <laughs> so also the community meme for uh, level one missions is uh, sub four level one. Uh, I don't know if any of us oh. are going to get sub four. I'm maybe there, uh, but I don't. I'm not quite sure. But it just—it's just like a good sign that you're on pace. You know, like one tenth of the way through the run. Yeah. If you don't get sub four, you reset, right? Yes. 
Unless it's no reset. Then you uh, don't reset. I, although Charles has in his PB has a 402 level one, so. <laughs> Why you gotta throw me under the bus? <laughs> I, I just want to put it out there. I cannot vote on the uh, the prediction because I'm a moderator, but I'm rooting for Schwalz. Same All right. here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, in that case, I will do my best to win. Yeah. You can. You could. You could call it a PD vote, but yeah. <laughs> so this is Big Bully. Uh, he is quite the big bully. Yeah. And uh, and he's dead. I almost just reached for my split button. <laughs> Oops. Right. And as you can see here, Pudding decided to go to safe strat with Shrews, and Troll just went, yeah, YOLO it, and did a mini turbo into the big bully. Thing to note, you can actually do a mini turbo into the big bully, because you just need to be higher than the full, than the max speed without a mushroom. Uh, yeah, also, if you do, um, if you're Tass, you can do a backwards MT. And, yeah, that's um, pretty crazy. And knock him <laughs> off that way. But none of us are Tass, unfortunately. I mean, I can do it backward, but I'm never gonna hit him. Alright, clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. Yes. So this is a bit of a troll mission, too, too. Um, the first coin is behind the finish line. Um, and when we got a uh, top player who had never played mission mode before to play <laughs> mission mode, he fell for it so hard, and it was very funny. I have a question. Yes. Uh, why do you guys always pause before, right, like right so, before entering mission? That is the exit early glitch, um, which allows us to um, skip the little. There's okay, like we're gonna fail it at some point, but basically it allows us to skip the little, um, like it's like a three second animation where it shows like, oh, you got rank A. Um, and then continue back to the menu. So basically, it cuts that out and uh, allows us to not have to watch cutscenes. Uh, okay, okay. And it saves so much time. So it was it was kind of like it, it makes the the run a little bit more challenging, but it saves so much time. So it it both simultaneously saved and killed the category. <laughs> as we like to call it. I mean, this is the basic principle of speedrunning. Everything that makes the game harder makes it faster. Yep. Exactly, yeah. But the thing is, like, people wanted to, to use in-game time to calculate the, like, the score, the result, because of loading time, but now because we're using a strat to exit early, we can't really use in-game time anymore, so... <laughs> so that's why it, it killed it a bit. Yeah. But it's okay. So I think that mission mode is actually like probably the best way of teaching new players sort of the tech of the game. Um, I mean, we, like that's not gonna teach you snaking, which we're doing right here, um, but it sort of like helps you control your driving and like just kind of like learn how to play Mario Kart DS very well. Whereas I think a lot of other Mario Kart games, they don't they don't do like as good of a job of teaching the player the tech. Um, so I really like mission mode. It's super unique, and I think a lot of people, when they think of this game, they think of mission mode. Yeah, and it's a shame it didn't came back to any games. It was planned for Mario Kart Wii, the, the sequel to Mario Kart DS, but it decided to scrap it and use tournament modes, which is, in my honest opinion, not the same. <laughs> because mission mode kind of teach the player what they can do with like their items and their races and stuff. But tournament, it's it's mostly just fun gimmicks they decided to create for just like that you can play for like like what two weeks, and they decided yeah, they were... to scrap it after they shut down the Wi-Fi connection. So at the same time, it's just like not really 
Ported? Yeah, there's an uh, inaccess inaccessible. Yeah. Um, well, technically, they, on an unmodified game, they're not an inaccessible, but... Yeah. We won't get into that. No. <laughs> it's a bit too much to explain. All right, that's good. So this is the only reason coming up where I picked um, German for the run, and it's because of the name of this boss. <laughs> it is named Zyklops, which um, is a pun on Cyclops, meaning one-eyed monster. I noticed this this morning and picked it exclusively because of that. Wow. And, and Schwaz is running on French just because he wants to run on French. Yeah, I don't know. I, I usually run in Japanese because there's no reason. There's actually no time save. Like the language you choose, doesn't. there's no like scrolling text or anything. So it's just fun to switch language now and then. <laughs> yeah, we get bored of playing this game in English or French, so, you know, <laughs> sometimes we just want to play it in a different language. Do you uh -oh. mind if I remind all those fine people from the Mario Kart DS community why are we doing that? Sure, go ahead. So, for those of you who just arrived, we're We've been doing that for, uh, I would say, about 13 hours now. And we're going to keep going until Sunday evening with a lot of good stuff coming up. I know you guys are there for the Mario Kart DS run principally, but there is a lot of good stuff coming up. And we're doing that to raise money for Les Petits Rois Foundation, uh, which mission is to promote the education and development of children with intellectual disabilities, whether or not they fall on the autism spectrum throughout the entirety of their lives. They offer tools and support uh, and support projects dedicated to providing them with stimulating, adapted environments that facilitate their path toward a life of autonomy and personal growth. Uh, we're going to be doing that, as I said, until Sunday evening, and we can you can also donate towards a few bid wars we have going on uh, the upcoming run, which is Metal Gear Solid. Whether you want to save Meryl or Otacon. And for those of you who don't really know much about uh, Metal Gear Solid, uh, basically at some point in the game you're gonna get uh, interrogated or tortured, and you have the choice whether to give up or just push through. If you decide to push through, you're going to save Meryl in the ending sequence, sequence, which is a little bit longer and a little bit harder. And if you just decide to give up, you're going to save Otacon instead. And we also have another bid war for Halo 3 versus Halo 4 because the runner, Pro Infern Ape, is going to run uh, the winning one because he can run Halo 3 and Halo 4 in about the same time. So you get to choose which one the runner is going to run. And all of this money is also going towards the bonus game that is going to be coming up around 4 p.m. today, which is going to be Prince of Persia, the Forgotten Sense, ran by the one and only Miss RV. For those of you who don't know Miss RV, she is the former world ch five time world champion of Counter Strike Global Offensive. And today, she's putting aside esports and she's going to speedrun for us. So you don't want to miss that. Well, that's so, great. Yeah, so I'm leaving it to you now. No, that's, uh, that's really cool. I actually have a, a brother with an intellectual disability, so I'm, I'm happy that this is going towards stuff like that. Um, and also, the um, bid war and stuff like that. So exciting stuff. Please donate. I'm going to donate after the run. Um, if I win, I'll donate my time in, in money <laughs> form. If I lose, I don't know. So your time in money form by minutes or seconds? So minutes would be dollars and seconds would be cents. Oh, fair enough. I like that. You know what? I'm matching puddings. Okay, pudding, we're, we're all matching puddings time. <laughs> but that's, but that's, Actually, yeah, that's, no. that's if I, that's I'm if matching I win. puddings, but in a weird way. I'm gonna match the time of the second place. Oh. To give even more money. Ooh, that's a good idea. Just accidentally selected a mission out of order, but that's fine. Because you can do these missions in any order. You yeah, just cool. like to do them in the same order for so, simplicity's sake. 
Yep. You guys don't get confused, but it's fine. We might we might converge later on. We've had races where one of us has been ahead for like by like two more two or more minutes, and then all of a sudden we're equal, and then once again <laughs> one of us is again ahead by two minutes. We can just be like, oh no, I just you just you can just miss stuff. Uh, we're not gonna we're trying gonna try not to miss stuff this run, but it's possible. So boss three is the goon boss. It's this big dude who like push you if you hit him. It's pretty bad. So you're trying to avoid him on lap one. Like here he almost got me. Un unless he's behind you, it's actually giving you a boost, but that's pretty hard to pull like I did. Like it's basically luck at that point. I am uh, in big focus mode because I got to hit these moles. Oh no. <laughs> this is probably like one of I, the worst. I got, I got it first try. Like, okay, super okay, fast. Cool. Um, yeah, no, um, 3-6, uh, the mole mission is notorious uh, for being terribly difficult if you're not ready for it. You got a time hitting five moles with shells, and it is... In my very first run of this category, that, that mission alone took, I think, 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, you have to get the perfect timing. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up missing them all the time and stacking those mission fell, which is not really great. Okay, so in this mission, 4 1, I'll try to go for the shortcut. Oh, he's gonna usually... swag. Yeah, I'm gonna swag. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I don't think I will, yeah. But it's fine. Even though I fell, I'm gonna respawn to the place where I fell. And it's not a big deal. That was close, though. Yeah, I look close, yeah. He's just throwing for content, it's fine. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you talked about the mole mission, and you know, he knows he's in the lead, so... Yeah, exactly. He just makes me want to make it donate more money. <laughs> I really like to call this mission Crab Rave Mission, because there's just months of crabs on a, like a beach. It's pretty nice, and we're just rooting their party by throwing them some shells and bombs, unfortunately. <laughs> it's a really fun mission. It's a nice breakup to like a lot of the fast missions that you go on beforehand. Yep. You get to shoot some crabs. Release your aggression. <laughs> Release your aggression. <laughs> But they also, the crabs are also angry because they're all they're all coming towards the center. So no. Oh, I never got a bomb, but uh, that's okay. Maybe putting putting would get one. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick 130. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this mission can take. I have gotten nothing but bombs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? Completely oh the opposite so, of me. Yeah, this mission, um, it, it's not RNG dependent necessarily. I mean, it is. You just want to hope that you're getting as many crabs as possible. Uh, if they all group up, you want to hit them with bombs. Um, or throw the bomb away and don't hit them. That's another option. Wouldn't recommend that one. For, for content. <laughs> more triple green shells and I should be done with this mission please and crab please crab please thank you all right not too great on that mission but still three stars stars that's that's something to talk about so oh, oh yeah stars yeah, yes. yeah go ahead go stars. ahead talk so, about stars you may notice that we're trying to get stars on every mission um, and this is for something that you may not have known. So, in this game, uh, so I said 63 missions, and if there's nine missions per world, that means with some basic uh, division, you can say that there are seven worlds of missions. And this is because if you get a star on every mission in the first six worlds, you unlock a secret seventh world of missions with nine more missions. Um, and this is something that apparently a lot of people didn't know, um, including 
some top, top players, ten, top yeah. ten ranked players in this game who did not know that the Seventh World of Missions existed, and they were like, "Wait, Wigglers in this game? What?" <laughs> Yeah, so if you don't get a, a star in a mission, you have to restart the mission, unfortunately. That's so the don't... Issue. Oh, did you yeah. just do that? No, no, not okay. yet. I don't think so. No, it's just to explain. No worries, just drawing for yeah, content. It, it, it's, it's just for explanation's purpose, it's alright. That's what happens if you don't... <laughs> hey, just trying to explain the run, you know, sometimes... Because we're not going to be able to showcase, you know, like, every single thing that can go wrong in a run here, but... You know. I did hear a glimmer of hope in Big Pudding's voice when he said, Wait, did you do that? Yeah. I, I, I noticed I'm, I'm like about a mission behind, so I'm like, ooh. Hold well, on. You, you might have noticed while uh, do, uh, like while doing mini turbos, Pudding is going through the grass. And like, wait, going through the grass? Is that is that, that slower? Uh, yes, but no. If you, Because the mini turbo is so broken in this game that sometimes the mini turbos can be uh, just as good uh, as a mushroom. So you can just cut through grass without no problems. Yeah, we'll we'll give you uh, we'll give you an MKDS 101 lesson during this as well, because sometimes you, you know sometimes we can't explain all the tech, you know, even normally. So you know we're gonna we're gonna give you a little lesson. So obviously you notice snaking. Snaking is kind of integral to this game. Is where you MT back and forth um, on straights, and you go very fast, um, but. Uh, we also have PRB, which is prolonged rocket boost. So basically, when you start a race, um, if you empty back and forth fast enough and you like let go of it before the last one runs out, you can keep on going fast and you don't lose speed um, over ground. And you go very fast. And this is used mainly in time trials um, or Grand Prix if you're like really good. I'm gonna notice, if you look at Schwal streams, uh, he throws himself into the lava after uh, getting a few coins. That's because if you don't, Big Boo is gonna come from you and literally sell all your coins. So yeah. by throwing yeah. yourself into the lava, you actually skip that and you keep your coins. Yeah, every time that King Boo uh, gets you, I think it loses 7 seconds, so don't... Uh, don't get hit by King Boo. And I'm saying yep. this as somebody who is not in the King Boo fight yet and might lose seven seconds to losing a cycle in King Boot. Just to show what's gonna happen wrong, right? Exactly, exactly. I'm just showing off the run. I got another question. Yes? Uh, what is bitter? Because I've seen, I see that on the <laughs> chat all the time and Ooh. I have no idea what that is. Oh, bitter is? Okay, yeah. So, bitter is a player, um, Mario Kart DS player. He is a top 40 player right now, I think who is notorious for playing side categories as well, like mission mode. Okay. Um, and he's quite talented. He is the current world record in mission mode, uh, world record holder in mission mode. Um, and he's known for his questionable video quality um, and just <laughs> general mysteriousness. But he's really good and he's definitely made this run sort of like what it is today. And he helps with a lot of strats. Uh, you, know, okay. you know the type of person that always posts a photo sideways. That's him. Yeah, he uh, every every single photo he's ever sent has been rotated ninety degrees. I like those kind of guys. He claims he doesn't know how to rotate them. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to edit them. So we won't we won't get him on get on them too hard because as annoying as it is. We wouldn't have we wouldn't be racing here today if it wasn't for him. <laughs> well, thanks for the explanation because I've seen this word like three thousand times in the chat within the past five minutes, so I was <laughs> kind of curious. Yeah, when I, whenever I'm streaming, his name is always in my chat about three thousand times. <laughs> He's, he's sent 3,000 more messages than any other chatter in my chat all time. 
Is he in chat right now? Uh, no, I just uh, I just saw a bunch of people uh, oh. writing that that word. Ah, I see. SMH not in chat. You have to oh, talk about is? him. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry. Good. I I kind of say something that. better. <laughs> okay, he's here. He's here. Oh yeah. Him. Okay. Yo. Okay. Sorry. Surprised he's not calling us out for missing strats. Come on. <laughs> he would he would do that if we were in any other situation. He oh, knows, man. But he knows you're throwing for content. Exactly. So he's gonna say nothing and enjoy the show. I just failed by three. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> this this mission is super annoying because these item boxes they travel on a set path, but the set path has like no indicator of where it's actually going and so you can just miss okay so i just swag really hard <laughs> just did, did you shortcut. just do shortcut <laughs> yeah. oh my god all right you, you definitely have to go for yolo and seven two now it's yeah. that's just required <laughs> Yeah, Charles is ahead by about a minute, and he's showing off, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get it, to be honest. I will not be going for that strat, because I will not be- I cannot hit that. <laughs> yup. Alright, yep. Yep, cars. Ooh, don't fail 5-6. Yeah, the cake mission. That okay. mission is very hard because if you miss a coin on the jump... You have to bye. go back around. You have yeah, to go you... back around and re-grab it. Also, the strawberry is very annoying to hit. Yeah, if you hit them, you can pull it off. <laughs> yeah, like out of also, line. That's also really bad. Not gonna lie, if someone was a, was to be starting a battle on that tr on that track, I will be turning my DS off. <laughs> yeah, that's it's not a very good balloon battle map either. Even worse for crane runners. Uh, no, shine runners. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, shine, shine runners. runners. It's it's really annoying to play in shine runners. <laughs> Okay, so this is boss number five. This is uh, Gros Bam Am in French. Big Bam Am. And, uh... Or we call him King Kaboom. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a strat that I got, which basically, if he doesn't see you, he's gonna hit himself with the bomb. And then you grab the two bombs oh and... Oh my god, really? You got that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, That's buddy. a strat that I've hit once in practice. And only once. Um, <laughs> Troll is just a god. You, there's nothing you can Somehow do got it. it, yeah. I don't know. Charles, we were supposed to use the 5 a.m. excuses like uh, when we mess up, but you've just been <laughs> succeeding. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, so um, if you check the speedrun.com's leaderboards, me and Charles are only um, 20 seconds apart in terms, or 25 seconds apart uh, in our times. Uh, but there's a big misunderstanding here because Charles lost a minute and 20 seconds in, <laughs> in World 7 to going for a strat that saves one second and loses a minute and 20 seconds if lost. Um, whereas I, that was like, I was just on an insane pace. So. Definitely, um, Charles is a little bit of the higher skill player, but 
Um, well, we're both we're both pretty good. Is he gonna I, go for it today? Oh, I actually got the uh, blind bomb bomb strat, but I uh, missed the um, no second. So I actually almost got the strat that I've only gotten once in practice. And yes, the I'll, I'll go for it. The YOLO strat, I'll go for it. <laughs> you know, just drawing for content. I wouldn't expect anything, anything less from you. So what would you say are the odds of succeeding? Um, on the YOLO strat? Um, yeah. actually only like one in three, really, or like one in two, but... It's just late into the run, and uh, it's item specific, and you have to like get a line for it. Oops. So, if you have the wrong item, it can be a lot harder to land. Just gonna know that Troll is currently splicing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that white screen was a mistake from a cash card. That was a splice. <laughs> I mean, don't say it. No. <laughs> Splicing during a live event is actually pretty, uh, pretty good. Yeah, actually my hands are not doing anything, they're just down. <laughs> they're just on my table. Oh, and actually so, here I missed the, the item, so I have to go slow in the flowers, unfortunately. Well, don't worry, I just missed 6-2 strat. Oh. Bitter is flaming me in chat, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah, Shoku bring the point of the slice. It's being it, it's, it's just a pre-recorded video. That's it. Oh, no, no. The guy is getting so good he can splice in an actual live run. Oh uh, yeah, he's just he's just throwing random bits of run into his OBS. No problem. There. That's fine. Well, I didn't see any negative messages from Bitter in chat, so maybe he wasn't looking at that exact instant. He already gave up. <laughs> oh. Troll is currently trolling for content after doing a splice. Um. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't the best. It's okay, it's okay. Missing a lot of yeah, coins in 6-7. 6-7 seven. Seven is a very confusing mission for people who who might not like understand it. I've seen people get stuck on it for like a half an hour. Um, but with the pudding strat, it is 100% consistent every time. And it is only, I think, 8 seconds slower than world record strat. Which is not bad. I'd rather lose like 4 seconds and get it every time than... Then, then YOLO it. Then YOLO it and pray. Oh yeah, also this mission is probably the only mission you'll see a little bit of PRB. Like at the beginning I was a little bit fast on the grass. Actually, we recently, uh, Yoshi's Circuit has been, has been a, a very stressful track recently. <laughs> for many of us, um, we had a community competition that ended in a three-way tie, um, and we had to have a 24-hour playoff on uh, Yoshi Circuit to determine who made it to the finals. And I will assure you that my team did win, and Charles and I are actually teammates in that, so we don't have to we don't have to fight. Like Only we fighting for a mission. Yes. In in time trials it's all for fun, but in mission mode it's for it's for blood. <laughs> this is where this is where the the men and the boys are separated in the mission mode. For mission mode oh it's it's for glory. Exactly. Even took out a chomp, I was just so mad with him. So angry. I had to get rid of him. Insane. Insane. Okay, so if I don't, if I fail this mission, I have to restart my game. I mean, the early uh, exit glitch. Okay, I think I got it. Yes. All right. So we unlock the the secret level seven, and we're starting with Rainbow Road. Should I go for the ultra shortcut, even though I've never <laughs> landed? 
try it at least once. Well, I try, at this time you're showing for content, so go. Okay, you are, okay. You are about two minutes ahead of me, so go for it. Oh, <laughs> this is really bad. Okay, so you have to go here, then you jump, and then you go, but I don't know how to do it properly, so that's what you get. <laughs> I'm still going to be able to finish. Yeah, I, I tried, I tried it. In level 7, your ranking on a mission doesn't matter because you're just trying to finish. Yep, exactly. Since you unlocked it already, you don't have to get a star anymore. I think the next time Nico is going to commentate this run, I'm gonna make a drinking game out of every time he says throwing for content. Throwing for content. Well, if they would stop throwing for content, it would help. <laughs> To be honest, every time I'm on the couch, you could do a drinking game for anything. <laughs> and be just, very drunk. Yeah, just to forget you're on the couch. <laughs> oh, Air Soup Fortress, yes. I see uh, I see soup in chat. We have a large um, Dutch community in chat right now. All the Dutch runners are here to, nice. to, to root us on. Also, the Yolo Shred is in this mission. At the end, you can... The the somehow the the finish line extend on the over the lava so we can like jump on the right side and be able to like finish early, save one second. But if you lose especially if you, you're in the process of quitting the mission, you have to redo the whole mission. So I'm gonna go for it here. I'll see what I get. Then that's it. That's how you do it. That was, that was really risky. I got it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's too good, folks. He is insane. Investigate his DS console. <laughs> so this is what you were talking about earlier, for, right? For tampering. Yep. Yeah, we yeah, had the yellow strat. <laughs> so if you, you miss and you go into lava and you're, you're, you have to redo the whole mission again. So we have to do a lap of Bowser Castle again. I was gonna say, I had such a scary ending to 6 4 there. I didn't know if I was gonna get it, but I got it. It's alright. I'm now on Mr. Chief Chili. Uh, this guy from S Snowman's Land. I just failed Chief Chili. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, from Snowman's Land from N64. Uh, he got a visual upgrade, and he's on his way to steal your girl. And you gotta <laughs> knock him off the stage three times. <laughs> I don't like this guy. He, um, in his third phase, he will troll you mercilessly if you allow him. <laughs> That's sad. It's pretty bad. Um, he, he'll, he'll, like, jump out of the way, and then you can't hit him off. Um, but if you hit him fast enough, you don't have to worry. No. It's okay. Okay, this is one of the hardest missions, 7-5. You have to grab, like, 20 coins. And if you miss one of them at a certain area, you just have to restart because you don't have time to go back and grab them. 7-5 is very annoying. Yeah, um, you have to be also super precise. It can take ramp. one try, it can take five tries. Yeah. And you'll never know. And like, it, it doesn't really follow the same rule of um, oh, no. just complete it to win. Because you just have to land the jumps because going around, you don't have enough time to finish. Yeah, I'll go for it. I don't know if I'll have time. Probably. But I miss a coin. I think I should be fine. Oh man, that's close. Okay, okay, we're good. Are you going for Yolo Strat? Um, if, if, if the cards come up for me, I will. Perfect. I will go for it. Yeah, I usually, not... usually have Shroom it, a lot it. better. It's alright. I got a uh, Yolo Strat. But I nice. didn't get the pause reset, so it actually saved no time. So instead of saving one second, I just went even.
I mean, it's less risky, so because if you miss it, you're you're fine. You don't have to redo the whole mission. You're just gonna land in front of the finish line, cross it. Yeah. Seven three is really annoying. You just have to drive two laps of Donkey Kong, and it's like this random, super long mission, all the way at the end. Um, and the driving is like not really hard, so you're just kind of sitting there. It's like this calm before the storm of the end of the run. Ah uh, yes, uh, Charles just failed mission because <laughs> for some reason, if you touch anything, you're dead. Yeah, so, yeah. If I touch uh, the fire, I'm dead. Yeah, I touched the fire on seven. They make you go backwards oh. in a maze collecting coins and you have to dodge the fire uh if you don't want me interrupting you for a second we just got a big 591 person Whoa. raid from the one and only eternal enigma so thank you Yo. sir Dang. what's up raiders welcome to mario kart yeah welcome to no reset oh i should have i should have done the um the welcome to mario kart there we are there's my Mario impression for the night. So I'm just going to point out that Mr. Eternal Enigma is going to run Silent Hill 4 on Saturday around 1 a.m. And this run is going to be hosted by Kathleen that you saw earlier. And he's also going to host for pretty much the entire night on Sunday. Because this guy is was born to be an host. So welcome all Raiders. Thank you so much, Mr. Enigma. And well, enjoy the show. Oops. Yeah. I'm not too kind, you're too kind. Alright, well, seeing as the world record is passed, I apologize for not getting world record. Same, I um, apologize. Yeah, world record is 39.56 by Bitter. Um, insane time. So I think like my my like best segments ever maybe add up to that. And he's like, I want to take. I want, he wants to take it down to 37. So we'll see. He's really good, and maybe someday we'll be able to put him on the screen for all you guys. I literally just lost. Where's the last Goomba at? Oh. No, go, take your time. Take your time finding him. Where is it? Oh, wow. Why, why is he so far? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. Final boss, Wiggler. So, what time is coming out for Trolls? Oh, he might just get a new PB this run. Uh, 41? I forgot oh, what Oh, never boss. mind, never mind. No, I don't think so. Oh, oh, okay. Let I missed me, the first. Uh, let me check for you. Yes, 42... 40 something, I forgot. Yeah, 4220, I think. 4224. Also, well, we only have a 21 second gap between us. But dang. I need to get on that. All right, uh, seven four Goomba time. I don't like this mission. There's too and, many Goombas. And better with this first not so kind world saying to you trolls, you would have gotten PB if you don't did fail seven six and seven seven. Yep, yeah, it was pretty bad. It's okay, it's okay. It's my first time playing in like three weeks or two weeks. I don't even remember. Last because me, me and Pretty have been like doing some nights where we're, we're practiced together. And other than those nights, I, I've never played mission mode. <laughs> I practiced a little bit more. Okay, so um, time is coming up on the finish line. So three, two, one, time. For me. I don't know if there's two separate time. But yeah. So 42, yeah. yeah. Could have been a PB by 30 seconds. But you can do it. You can do it. Now you're stuck with me. I'm and sure people, I can't deal with it. and prediction has been ended. Walls is your winner. 
somebody, some Other people strings. have just won major channel points. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, thanks. Well, actually, uh, Schwarz was in the lead at the end. Yep. Wait, really? Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Six, oh, Sixty-two percent to thirty-eight percent. Wow. Thanks, Come guys, on, guys. For, for believing in me. <laughs> Eighteen well, point three. I feel this is like one person bet like a hundred thousand points. Yeah. You, you know what? You're actually right. Jimbo betted sixteen thousand points. For sure. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I cannot bet because I was about to go with like one hundred thousand. Bro, I was gonna go with seventy or fifty or fifty-seven k. <laughs> All right, so I just entered Wiggler. Wiggler, um, so you gotta keep on getting stars and staying ahead of him. On lap three, he gets real mad and turns red. Um, you, you just gotta stay ahead of him. That's that's all you gotta do. Um, I have had some very close Manka S moments on this mission um, of like just barely inching him out in the very end. No star. Don't do that. Win. Just win. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of strange that this mode ends with a race. Yeah, it's a uh, quite quite know, the scary race at that. You know, in the race where yeah. you get chased by Wickler, they only give you stars, and the cars are all on the, all the same are all going on the same side. Yeah, it's quite the hectic final mission. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty great. All right, so time's coming up for me. I am nearing the end of this, and three, two, one, time. Yo. GG. Oh, I just missed sub 45. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> How much That's do so I need close. to give? 4504. Yeah, okay. we'll have to nice, also give nice. 45. <laughs> nice stuff. Yep. Thanks for the GGs. Thanks for the GGs. Thank you. And everybody. we have also this amazing finale, I guess, credit scene. Oh, yeah, Donkey Kong passing Mario. <laughs> if you ever have the chance, listen to the Mario Kart DS credits theme. It is it is emotional. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. Um, so I, I promised my friend Lexi I would shout her out. Hello, Lexi. I know you went to bed, but hi. <laughs> well, I mean, someone can clip that and send it to, to your friend. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody, somebody will clip that. Yep. So uh, thanks for... Uh, making this race possible, no reset, and uh, good luck to all the runners. I believe the next run is going to be Trial of Mana, if I believe. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I don't know this game, but it looks like a really cool game. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm, this is super exciting uh, to, to run this. I yeah. wasn't I mean, expecting this. We did owes the race, but you're the one who made it possible. So thank you both. Yeah, also Pake, uh, hi, I know you're in chat. Yeah, and he really wanted somebody to acknowledge Mumu Farm. Mention so Mumu Farm. There you go. Mumu Farm, yeah. Get, get a PB. You get a PB. Go do it now. I will do that right now. <laughs> I mean, you got what you wanted. We did say the word. And yeah, the upcoming run is actually going to be Metal Gear Solid by BB Live. Extreme difficulty, all bosses. So. As for me, this is gonna be it for my hosting shift because I need to go die in my bed for a few hours because I got another one at noon. Don't we all we go to go to bed now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this is big bedtime. <laughs> yeah, yeah well. it is. So I'm gonna leave uh, the hosting duties to the one and only 50 person gaming. So this is sure to be super interesting. And this is gonna be a really, really good time to donate a bunch of money with a bunch of French commentaries because I know 50 person gaming is going to read them all even though he doesn't speak a word of French nice oh, that's going to be funny uh -oh. I'll, I'll make sure to put my uh, donation in German then <laughs> I knew he would I knew he would love that I mentioned that so I love you 50 I love we you we all 50. love you and more than 50% all right <laughs> it's fine, 50. You're gonna figure it out. You, you didn't know how to pronounce hours? no reset. No, I think he's talking about Le Petit Roi. I know. No. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go to a quick transition while we get everything set up. Uh, this was DDG. I'm, as I said, I'm leaving the place to 50 person gaming, which is gonna be 100 person awesome. And we're gonna be back in a few minutes with Metal Gear Solid. So stay tuned. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Well, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs>